the 1970s, a group was formed, um, a group, I think, changed the sound and the direction of music of that time. I always describe it as like punk in a velvet glove, and that group was called the Buzzcocks, since had a television programme named after them. Now, the, the lead singer and the guitarist, and probably the most well-recognised member of the group was called Pete Shelley. Not his real name, but that's incidental. Pete Shelley came from Lee in Lancashire and lived just round the corner from me. We grew up together. Um, Pete was a quiet, slightly introvert kid. He was nice enough. And like most kids of the day, we had a gang. Um, Pete was on the edge of that gang. He never really joined in with the any daft things that we did. But it was Pete. I mean, he lived a hundred yards, less than a hundred yards from me, across the road from my one of my best friends. It, we were all we were all there together. And then as time went on, I thought I joined a group and played in a few bands and Pete used to turn up at recordings when we were rehearsing at the pub called Fleece in Lee um, asking to jam. He eventually joined. I left very shortly afterwards because music was changing direction and I wasn't happy with the direction. It was going in. I was still stuck in the wanting to play rock kind of thing. So I bailed out. Obviously, I still knew Pete. Um, I went working away, he went over to Bolton College and blah 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 and um, I formed the Buzzcocks and two of the lads who I played with, the bassist and the guitarist, ended up as sound engineer and lighting engineer for the Buzzcocks and they went on and on and on and became incredibly famous um, and sadly Pete died in 2008 of an heart attack and I think he was still playing up to then. <laughs> But yesterday they unveiled a, a, um, a monument, a, a tribute to Pete in his hometown of Lee. I now live about 20 minutes away and I've done for 15 years. But I went over, met a couple of old friends. Paul Carr of State of Quo. Hello, Paul. Um, and Rick, his son, who's a great guitarist. And it was lovely, and it was a beautiful day, and there was a good turnout, and it was quite touching, really, because there's this big wall with Pete staring out of it, and it's how I remember him as a kid. I remember him probably young, more younger than that, when we used to walk home from school, and just Molly's mooching about on the floor, he hopes and not the bloody cameras down over. Um, and it was lovely monument, so I took the camera down and I filmed it and this is it. Well done, Pete. Local lad made good. Bless you. So I've come to my old stomping ground today of Lee in Lancashire for the unveiling of a painting on the end of a building to Pete Shelley. I knew Pete when he was a kid. He lived, we lived around the corner from each other and then when we were in our teens, we played in the same band together. Only shortly, I played, played in this band, Pete kept turning up and eventually he joined. Um, the music started changing a bit and I bailed out but um, Two of the lads who were in that band, the ba that band then morphed into the Buzzcocks and two of the lads who were in it then became the sound engineer and the lighting engineer for the Buzzcocks for some years. I'm hoping to see them here today. I've already met one of my old friends, Paul Carr, from a fabulous band called State of Quo. who have been going for 27 years. Um, absolutely look them up. Uh, State of Quo, look them up on YouTube. They're the biggest status quo tribute band in the world, travel all over the world. They're absolutely amazing. So, it's not as big a crowd as I thought, but it is filling up. 
more and more people are it's an absolutely beautiful day so there's Pete and that's exactly how I remember him because I knew him probably up to from when we were from nine year old up to um, early 20s and then we all went our own separate ways Pete then hit the big time uh, and good for him Pearl had died of a heart attack in 2018 I think it was Estonia he lived he got married and lived with his wife in Estonia but he kept going I mean he were, they, they were still going I think Steve Diggle is uh, keeping it keeping keep, still keeping the uh, the band going I mean the car park could just been standing in somebody's front of somebody's car while they've been trying to get out I'm an idiot It's absolutely boiling hot, it's a fabulous day for it. I'm actually, I know so, I've not lived in Lee for 15 years. Um, and I've come back, it's strange coming back to your old stomping grounds. I'm hoping to meet a few people that I knew, people I've played in bands with. Uh, but it's 50 years since we've all played together and I've seen a couple of them since. They probably won't recognise me and I probably won't recognise them, but what the hell, we'll have a good day anyway. Don't know whether there are any Buzzcock fans out there in the youtube verse watching this, but um, you, Buzzcocks were massive. Um, they've got a television programme named after them kind of changed the music completely in the 70s. Look them up. If you haven't heard of them or heard them, look them up on YouTube. You'll probably recognise some of the stuff. They were excellent, excellent band. I think was a lovely lad. He was quite quiet, quite an introvert. We had this gang like you do when you're kids. He was like on the outside of it, never got really stuck into any of the completely stupid things that we used to do. But um, yeah, he was there. He was one of that. We called him Magpie. Sometimes we called him Tag Pie, but mostly Magpie. So that's it. Basically, now there's going to be a live band on of a Buzzcocks tribute band. I'm not going to bother. I've seen what I want to see, and there you go. How fabulous is that? Well done, Pete. Yeah. Small town lad made good. And made a lot of people happy.